Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? And in this video, we'll continue building our sorting visualizer. So last time we stopped here, uh, we started up the project and we in general just made some very basic stuff. Uh, we Last time we stopped with the navbar, we were playing around with styled components and just thinking about how, how we're gonna style this thing up. Uh, so I think today I'm gonna finish the uh, navbar and just get these functionalities out here like the basic ones okay let's go it's fine now let's see one click click generate new array uh, let me go to the style button hover let's not make it red let's make it uh, wait gray Uh, what's wrong? Well, you know what? Uh, Adobe Color. Uh, give me a color palette. You know what? Uh, color. I oh, yeah, have trends over here. Trends. What are the trends of 2020 for colors? Then just give me a color palette. Yeah, here, yeah, okay. Uh, this is way too blue. Wait, this is way, way, way too blue. I want something. Mm -hmm. Let's see what might not be bad. Um, you know what? Something that shows that that the recruiter that you are smart. And a smart color is green. Green. So, you know, I'm really into this. Add to library. Add to library. Oh God, uh, I do not want to sign in. Yeah, let me simply copy this so we can have the background be, background can be this color and the text can be, let's say this color and the hover can be this color. Let's see, how is that gonna look? Nah, nah, it sucks. Wait, uh, if I made this, this color, and let's say this, this color, how is that gonna look? Okay, um, I actually like this background color. Now I just need to find a good color for the for the text. No wait, that's the same color. Nope. I do not like that. Uh, let's see, this is really super light green. Make it white. Uh, how's, how's that gonna look? Well, white isn't that bad. Nope, not here. Um, let's see. For the for the hover color, probably a greenish color might work well. Yeah, uh, this is not bad. This is not bad at all. And let's see, uh, let's change the font uh, also. F 
font family font family uh what are our options okay let, let us put uh arial helvetica generate new array much better font size let's make it a little bit less font size um 20 pixels like 20 no 20 pixels is too much 12 uh, 12 pixels yeah uh, 15 12 yeah okay so 12 is fine then the, th the thing is right now if I uh, align 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 text Center. No. Um. Okay. Uh. Well, what are the actual borders of this? Align content center. Flex direction row. Ah. Uh, just let me do justify content. Justify content center also. Because to center it on the. Nope. Not like that. let me check what's wrong with this uh, why isn't this centered inside the p tag uh-huh okay if I if I do this I do this justify content center. Nope, that won't work. How to center a P? Yeah. How do you center a P tag? Position absolute top auto. Text align center line height. You know, I need just okay. That, let me copy this and let's see how this is gonna work. Line height 100 pixels. Uh, why is line height 100 pixels? I th yeah, I think it, it's way too much. Like. 20 okay 30 pixels is fine yeah okay now uh, the other thing let me uh, let me make make a new container so it's gonna be uh, this is gonna be one container and this is gonna be another container so we're gonna I'm gonna have a slider over here. No, it's not a slider, it's like a, a range thing. If I copy this, um, select your range or something like that. Select your range. Okay, if I copy this a bunch of times, it's gonna be merge sort, quick sort, heap sort. Let's see. Merge sort, quick sort, heap sort, heap sort, and bubble sort. bubble sort yeah this is fine now on the styling simply uh, justify content uh, space space between uh, no it's too much uh, space around nope. um, 
no space around it. Yeah, like that. Uh, no, 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 no. This is not what I want. Uh, let's see. You know what? For these, let me make them inside a div. Like this should be a sort wrapper. Some sort of sort wrapper. Sort wrapper. Then I'm gonna simply import this. Sort wrapper. Sort wrapper is gonna be index. No nope, header. The side CSS. Let me put this down and let me put this up because we want it to be an alphabetical order. Why? Well, because uh, it it makes me feel that I'm writing clean code. <laughs> sort wrapper. Sort wrapper div. Um, let's see. Screw all of this. Yeah, I think like that should be fine. Yes, yeah, select your range. It's gonna be now uh, space around space. Bit, um, let's see. Flex start. If we, I'm not good at CSS. If flex start, start here. Okay. If I, um, let's see. How am I gonna do this? 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 <coughs> Uh, if I if I add some margin maybe between these and then so if I do flex no not uh, space uh, space uh, space evenly isn't that bad and then between these I would also do space. Uh, space evenly okay um, um let's see what else I, I should specify the width over here width is gonna be like 200, 200 pixels is that fine 200. to be fair uh, we do not really need the sort it actually looks a lot better with, without this sort. Merge quick heap bubble. Select your range. So I'm thinking uh, when you press this, it's gonna open up some sort of model uh, in which you can select uh, the the range of or. Or how about simply selecting an, an input? Yeah, uh, Select your range. Select your range. No, or, or opening a model should be better, yeah. Now, how am I gonna do that? React uh, models. React model component. And um, with hooks, yeah, with hooks. React model component hooks. React model hook. Uh, production ready React model hook. How now? How popular is this? Okay, it's pretty popular. Six thousand downloads per week. And let's see how do you this? How do you use this? Return button show model. Okay, this looks pretty good. React model, and then it says show model. It's been last committed in February. Um, let's look at the issues. Okay, it looks fine, I guess. So I think it's pretty safe to use this. Yeah, if it's like 6,000 
downloads per week, I would say it's pretty safe. Um, now here, control T, CD, CD desktop, or cancel, cancel, cancel. Uh, let me open this and on my terminal, new terminal. Uh, yarn, yarn and React model hook. React model hook, the slider does not provide any UI insertion of its convenient way to render a model component defined elsewhere. Do we have that? Okay, this is installed. You know what? Uh, let me commit. Fit uh, feature uh, add React hook model. Okay, and then over here, I would simply, or let me create like a, a new model component. Yep. No, not a new folder, model.js or range model.js uh, react function component rfc give me Give me the snippets. RFC. RFC. Yep. Now H1. This H1. This is a range. Export default. Okay. Now let's see how do we use this. Uh, we import model provider from. Uh, Use model provider to provide more model context for your application. Okay. So, okay, simply the model provider in the index.js. Model provider. Yeah. I won't break my project. No, it's not gonna break my project. And then what else? You, you call use model with the dialog component of your choice. Example using React model. Using React model. Oh, we have uh, there's another UI, UI, UI element, UI component, UI library. React component. Uh, how does that look? React model accessibility styles using custom G general usage use custom parent nodes license ins installation just just show me how does this work model parent selector document query select root you can use the references content Uh huh. Interesting. Okay, wait. Just let me copy this. Change model. Let's just copy this whole thing. Here, I'm gonna simply pass on uh, hide model. So you're gonna pass on height model. Uh, let me install React model. This, this is good now. Simply copy this. Ok, 
okay this looks fine now on my header I'm gonna import the thing so import range model from dot slash range model then over here simply cons show model hide model okay wait where's the, where's this uh, use state let me import that use uh, no we do, we do not have to use, use state we do not have to use use state we have to use use model instead let me import that okay just let me put let me put these two down here uh, let's do this simply copy this and instead of react model I'm gonna simply put my range model range model and it's gonna take an hide model equal hide model is gonna equal to hide model and then on click you click simply show model and click on click is gonna take a show model now if I click this hide model Uh, but this is way too big and this is like way 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 too big uh, Is there any way for me to make this this model a lot smaller? And and if I make this simply a regular div uh, How's that gonna look? Model Okay so I have to style my model now. Uh, updating models, model transition group. Uh, how do you style a thing? Using models, uh, animated models. No, this is React model, yeah. Uh, custom styles. Okay, let, let us test this out. Custom styles and then simply style it with custom styles. Now On click close model button close model to be fair yeah just let me change this to no or what you know what just simply like save um it's where there is hide model yeah hide model save so it's gonna look something like that you put the stuff here, you, uh, you select your range. Mm. Hmm. React uh, range, uh, range slider, yeah, React range slider. React range slider component, uh, material UI. 30,000 downloads per week Slider mm. Continue with slider, uh, can you show me the code? Range slider, yeah No, or, or simply a normal slider Starts from zero and then ends a continuous slider, range slider, slider with with an input field. Um, yeah, uh, I do not think that I don't think this would be bad. Show the show the source. Let's see, uh, slider, material, core UI slash slider. Okay, let me simply take in the slider. 
So instead of the model, let me let me simply get the slider. Then over here, where the where there is a slider, slider yeah, slider is this slider value type of number equals zero handle slider change. Okay, um, oh, I think I got it. Just let me comment this out. Let me copy this and handle slider change. I'm simply gonna set the value of slider. Okay, and values. Uh, use state. There's no need to let me import use state. Use state. Then starts from it starts from thirty. I think like the minimum value should be around five. Yeah, the minimum value should be around five. And then over here on our ha handle slider change like that. Yeah, okay. Let's see how how does this look. Okay, this slider is way too fucking big. It's way too fucking big, man. Type of numbers value equal zero. Um, grid item access. Yeah, just let me put this grid. Import import grid from the material UI. Import material UI, grid from material UI. To be fair, these two must be at the top, like around here. Then simply, simply grid item, grid item, yeah, grid item, grid item, or. Uh, or a simple container. Where the hell are the containers? Container. Uh, just show me the code. Container material I container. Nope. 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 Now Control Z. Yeah, like that. Just let me remove the grid and let me bring in the container. Which is gonna go up top because we have this shit in alphabetical order. Uh, and I cannot call this container as mate material container. Import container as material container, right? As uh, JavaScript, uh, J JavaScript import as. Uh, as it is, how can I erase the default import in JavaScript? Uh, like that. So it's gonna be nope. Like that. Yeah, material container. It's gonna go over here. Where that is our material container. Material container. And then material container fails compiled. Container is not exported from material I core container imports this material container. Uh what? What was wrong? What is wrong? Import uh, default as it is from my module. Import container as material container from material container UI core container. So what is wrong with this? Container as material container. What's wrong with that? Attempted import error container is not exported from material UI core container imported as material container. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let me simply change 
Uh, let me simply change the thing in the main container. Let's change this like to wrapper. Uh, then this is gonna be control D, control D, control, control. Not, not simply this. Nope. Wrapper. We're just gonna take out the wrapper over here. And this is gonna be container. This is sort wrapper, yep. Container wrapper, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now, how do I make this small? Where are you? Container wrapper. Container wrapper, uh, max width equal. Max width equals small. Max width width as max width equals small. No, uh, uh, even smaller than that. Fluid max width is a property value. Fixed. Yeah, just make this like max width. Uh, if I put a number like 200, is it gonna work? Just, gonna just make it bigger, like 100. Nope, if I do it like that, 100. That's M. Okay, so what are the what are the possible values in which in which I can put on max width? Max width, max width, max width. What's not TypeScript? Reset focus, reset demo. Um. Hmm. Snack bar, backdrop, speed dial, skeleton. What's a what's a slider, man? Just. Marks through small steps. Um, yeah, so like the min, the minimum, and the maximum. Minimum, maximum, minimum five, maximum a hundred. Now it's from one to a hundred. Hmm. Let, let me put this uh, uh, range wrapper. Screw this container. Range wrapper probably down here. The same thing. Range wrapper. Range wrapper is not defined. Let me import this. Um, what's wrong? Yeah, like that. That okay. Let me put this down in the center. Now the center, 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 center. Flex those space evenly. No, 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 no. Just, justify content. Center. Margin. Top. Twenty pixels. Okay, uh, too much, 10 pixels. 8, eight pixels. No, uh, 12 pixels. Okay, this, this looks fine. Now, what's next? 
I actually want to show the number, so simply a p tag of the value. Okay. Now, now if I put this as the same style as the button. Put this like that, and then all over in my header, the button on slider. Uh, what's this? Area la labeled by. If I remove this, what's gonna happen? Well, nothing's happening. Custom marks, restricted values, label, la label always visible, label discrete label. Ah, I, I, I can add typography. This typography. Typography then over here, typography ID like that. Always visible. Okay, just let me remove this. Header style, there is no need to make it flex at all. Um, there's no reason to make it flex. Like that, yep. And then. Let's see, what else? Um, ID. Just uh, let me open this on code pen. Edit in code sandbox. Demo the chairs. Make styles from materialized bone styles. Okay, let me also copy this. So with make styles, you see simply make make the styles. Ah, okay. Anyways, uh, simply copy this whole thing. this screw this default value 10 marks marks yeah let me just delete this area label die Delete this like that, like that. Now, if I change this to the um, to the value, which is going to be value. Okay, then. What's wrong with this?
and this is fucking huge uh, let, let me make the height a little bit smaller height 100 pixels or I put 50 pixels 10 pixels uh. Fuck it. Uh, we do not need this now. Fuck the slider. We simply have this, and then it's it's it's, it's not gonna show a model. It's simply gonna show an an input. Uh, React. No, not React. Uh, simple JavaScript uh, alert input prompt yeah I shouldn't get too fancy for this project it's gonna take way too much time Value simply, simply be let's say let's set it in the beginning five. Uh, then ask for const const range change equal this then this then this uh, var const equal no const range equal range. Yeah, range equal. Uh, how big do you want do you want the graph to be? Then I'm gonna simply take the range and set value range. Then over here I don't have to not have to show model any anything that just no need to do anything fancy. Eat this, remove this, then, um, yeah, just re remove these. And then on my, then on the app, in the app.js. Mm, on the app to be fair let me keep the, uh, the let me bring this over here uh, range change equal range change then value yeah, just let me make it like that. P value. You state, you state, I'm gonna import it from here. You state, um, then over here I bring in the range change. Take it from here. I do not need the use state. Select and put 100, 100, 200, 200. Okay. So th this is fine. Instead of just put like that, yeah. Two hundred and four. Yeah, okay. It's it's fine like that. Now for these, um, hmm. Okay, so it's simply an array of 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 random items. Okay. Uh, you know what? 
I actually need uh, need to think about this one. So, for instance, let's say the range is from five. So this means I make a new array of five. New array of five, and then a new a new array of five, and each one is gonna be it's gonna be a random number from one to one hundred. Okay, and then depending on this number and style components, I'm gonna set the height. Yeah, I think we have this plan out. For now, let me figure out uh, how to make JavaScript. Uh, uh, create uh, wait, JavaScript uh, random array of numbers. Create an array with random values. Let's close up the stuff with React. Um, how much time are we on already? 46 minutes. Ah, it's fine. Here's a solution that shuffles a list of unique numbers and no repeats ever. Uh, I, I do not really care if it's a repeat. Uh, the shortest approach is 6 Yeah, okay. Array dot from length 40 and equal 40 length from 0 to greater than equals. No, I, I need it to be f to and from 100. So right now I need to set const um, array equal and set array equal use state or well, you know what um, let me set this as size uh, let me put this as set size set size set size then screw this array set array and then this is gonna be simply simply gonna be an okay in the beginning it's gonna be empty and then on component the mount use effect use effect uh, so you use use effect runs once once the component has 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 only rendered um, as you can see I'm putting an empty array so it's only renders when they when it's component did mount and then we do let me simply copy this uh, random const random array equal it's gonna start with five from up to a hundred then set random set array to random random array then console dollar simply do this uh, uh, I have a snippet that um, no I have a plugin in VS code that allows you to to console of log a lot 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 easy a lot easier. Yep. No 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 this is not what I wanted no yep. this has to be empty like no matter what Quick fix, uh, disable, okay, if I, if I open the react tools, components, go to my header, now if I go to the app, State, yeah, okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. 
and then once this runs I simply create a new array uh, set range yes yeah, set range this but no uh, set size of this you know what once range changes uh, once size size changes it's gonna be set size once size changes gonna, this is gonna be equal to size then every time uh, console.log array it's, it's an empty array yep uh, where the hell is the fucking thing wait uh, what do I want I want it dev tools yeah so far it's simply an an array of 5, let's change this to 10, this is now 10, input range 20, this is now 20, this is now 5, 5, 5 it is, okay, okay so, so at least uh, we, we got something working then. So I think I'm gonna end it here because I do not want these uh, these live live commentary coding sessions to be really long. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.